Alright everybody, so it looks like there's a Full House uh, reboot coming to Netflix called Fuller House. Uh, I'm getting this off the wiki, uh, which I guess they're calling wiki uh, now, not wiki. And you can find information about this almost anywhere now. Looks like the major uh, TV shows that were a major hit in the 90s are coming back, so it looks like they're trying to return America to the 90s. Uh, this one here looks like it's following DJ Tanner's family, and it showed the opening credit. I'm not even going to play the trailer. Uh, but one of the opening trailers I saw basically showed the same house, the same set, and basically everybody walking in, and, you know... It says here that DJ Tanner became an animal vet and started a family with her husband, Tommy Fuller, a firefighter. Uh, together they have three boys. Tommy died in the line of duty earlier in the year, and DJ has been taking refuge by the Tanner house until she can figure things out. Uh, so that's basically that. In between, Kimmy Gibbler got married to a Spanish car racer, Fernando, and has a daughter. So, uh, Fernando wasn't a loyal husband, had multiple infidelities, and Kimmy is basically getting ready to kick him to the curb. So, this is all here. And what this basically says, ladies and gentlemen, is that basically the 90s is coming back. There's going to be, well, there, there's already an X, uh, uh, you know, all kinds of different reboots. X-Files, I brought you the Married with Children reboot, Fuller House. Uh, thing I'm getting ready to see a reboot for is going to be all the shows that I actually watched, and I've heard rumors, ladies and gentlemen, that Bayside was going to be reinvented and that they were going to do another Saved by the Bell reboot, and it was going to be a reboot from almost scratch. Where I heard that uh, uh, the son of the guy that played Morris was going to be the Morris character in the reboot. I heard back and forth complaints that he didn't want to do it. He thought he was stupid. When in fact, to me, that was a pretty awesome show. Especially if they go from the the tween years that they started with all the way into the college years, which I didn't really care for the college years. It really didn't interest me that much. Uh, to me, when Zach went off and left Kelly for that golf instructor's daughter, I felt kind of, you know, like the storyline was betrayed, along with many others. So, Fuller House looks like it's going to happen. Looks like it's got a bunch of good uh, storylines on it. Uh, it does look like a Netflix movie or TV series coming out. So it'll be interesting to see just how good this reboot is. Um, I did hear somewhere or another that they were going to try to do where DJ... And Kimmy had a soft lesbian relationship when everybody else wasn't looking. But I think that's going to be abandoned because of the conservative efforts. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this works out. But all in all, seems like it's going to be a good movie TV series. As, well, it's not TV it's for, if it's on Netflix, but you guys get the idea.
Thanks.